What's going on everybody? Austin here and in today's video we're going to talk about how you can start selling apparel products without actually having to have inventory. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Smash that like button so I can keep creating content for you that shows you how you can make money online and all the new strategies that are available to you today. So as always, we're going to cut straight to it. Let's dive into the computer. As you can see here, um, we're on a website called Namelix. And what I use this website for is to just generate a brand name. It's the, to me, it's one of the easiest ways the most to come up with a creative brand name without having to overthink it. Because a lot of people spend way too much time overthinking their brand name that they end up just not even really starting. So let's go right here into the keywords area. And I'm just going to type something like animal. And then we're going to hit generate. And it's going to give you... Um, so you can do like brand keywords. I put animal name link. You could do short names, three to six letters, medium names, long names, whatever you prefer. I like short name words. And then you also have what they have called is the name style. You can do brandable names like Google and Trulia, foreign words like Toyota now. I personally like to choose misspellings because to me it's kind of unique and gives it a little twist. So let's just click generate. And you see here, it's going to populate a bunch of different brand names that you could use for your own company. Um, like, and you see Kitten, that's just spelt with an A7E, Badger, Bonzi or Bonsai, Lizard. I actually like that, but you see there's so many different choices that you can pick from right here. And it's just, it, it cuts the, the curve of trying to sit there and come up with all these ideas on your own when you really have no idea. So... I highly recommend this. You go right here, like, let's just use lizard. I like the way that's spelled. To me, it's kind of unique. Um, we're gonna click it. And it's just an idea. So you could look through, if you see how I'm scrolling, just click, and you can scroll through some of the uh, logo images that they have here. Um, but now you came up with a name, I'll remind me saying, you could purchase these logos here. You see, let's just say I wanted to purchase this. You could purchase um, your logo on Namelix, or you could actually just use a logo, get a logo created. So if you want to get a logo created, go over here to 5RR, which is Fiverr.com, and you could do logo, just type logo. And then somebody's good. So if you don't know what Fiverr is, it's a freelance website where other freelancers put their services up there and you could pay them to do something for you. So I would do creative, unique, modern, minimalist business logo design. So you can have different logos and stuff if you want to actually use your brand name as your logo. And that's two different things. You could either just use your brand name. So say Lizard could be our brand name. That could be like the actual name on our brand tags or our patches or anything like that. And then you could, uh, and, and that's in reference if we're doing like apparel, right? And so you could always use a different logo or you could use graphic designs. So, but let's just come here. You could see, you could find a logo created for $35. This one's 125, it's probably a really expensive logo. But you could scroll through these people and just see what kind of work they do. 25, $10, $25, $60. So whatever you can afford to spend, this is where I would go. Or again, you could purchase it straight from the other place. Um, another thing you could do right here is t-shirt, graphic, graphic t-shirt design. Click it and you'll see people well, I will make custom trendy graphic t-shirt designs within 24 hours. So now you have a brand name and you could do different graphic design t-shirts. However you foresee whatever your niche is, you got to kind of pick your niche. Are you going to make like, are you going to be like dog mom shirts or dog shirts or mom life shirts or um, fitness apparel? Depends how you want to go about it. If you want it to be a minimalist approach where you just do your brand or you do graphic tees like this. Um, but make up your mind that way. So start with Namelix, create a name for your company, come to Fiverr for any uh, logos and uh, stuff like that. And then after that, you're going to want to actually say you get, um, let's just say you come up with a logo or a name and you want to get your shirts, you want to get mock-ups on people. So you can see right here, you can go over here to a website called placeit.net. And I'll leave a link in the description below for all these websites that I mentioned for you so you could access them at any given time. Just come back to this video, go to the description, you could access these websites. So right here is a mock-up gen branding and design made easy. You could even come here for logos. They got logo makers, they got all kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna show you the mock-up generator here. So let's just say we wanna come into mock-ups and then we wanna do apparel. Um, we'll just click apparel. Oh, there's hoodies, that's what I wanted to show you. We're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna work on hoodies today. 
Um, this you see. So what this is is it gives you a bunch of professional images. So you don't actually have to take images of the product. Again, I told you, you're not going to have the product. You're going to print the product after it sells. And this is known as print on demand, also known as drop shipping, where you drop ship a product. However, since we're printing the product at the same time, we call it print on demand. So all of these images are already professionally taken, so you don't have to do that. Um, so let's go to hoodie over here on the left. If I could find hoodie, ABCD hoodie. Um, we'll find a hoodie and we'll upload an image to it. And I'll show you just how simple it is. So real quick, we'll just go with we'll go with this one because it's almost Christmas. Uh, well, we'll go with yeah. We'll just no. We'll just go with the person. We're gonna grab her, and it's super simple. Simple to use this website, and you can do this for all kinds of stuff: shirts, mugs, hoodies, hats, beanies, backpacks. Doesn't matter. You name it, they have it. So no matter what you want your product to be or if you wanna have a variety of products, just go over here. So now we're gonna insert an image. I'm just gonna grab one from um, one of my companies or my Facebook group. And you could just adjust it anywhere you want in here. Um, crop it to the size you want. We'll just leave it right there and we'll just hit crop. We'll see where it lands. Uh, you can't really see, let me change the hoodie color. So over here on the right hand side, we can change the hoodie color. We'll just click black. So there you can see the logo a little bit better. Um, I could obviously change the size if it's not what you like. Either way, just think it's a mock-up generator, so it's just for images. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, probably could have went bigger. Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go right there. Crop. So there you go. Now I have a professional image of this girl actually wearing one of our hoodies. So now say I want to sell this hoodie. So I would download it here. Um, you have there's different pricings for whatever you want to do. Um, because this is not free. Um, you can check the pricing structure out. It's not expensive. It's fifteen dollars a month. Um, or it's even cheaper. You say 50% if you purchase the whole year, which I highly recommend because you have unlimited mock-ups. See, unlimited mock-ups, unlimited designs, unlimited videos, unlimited logos, all for $7.47 a month. You can't beat it. So enough about that. After you create all of your mock-ups, like I said, unlimited. And what's great about here, you, you remember how I showed you how the Christmas image? So they have different images or different uh, backdrops for different holidays. So if you want to do seasonal um, prints and stuff, like at Thanksgiving or at Easter or at Christmas or all the different holidays, you could go in here and literally make mock-ups without ever having to do your own backdrops or anything like that. So it's super powerful, super awesome, and you saw super affordable. Um, but from here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to Etsy. So go to Etsy.com and you're gonna to wanna to create a store. So let's just look at um, this person right here. Let's look at her store. Lucy Goose Company. So she has a storefront. I don't know, I haven't, I just randomly clicked on something, but you go in here, create a store for free. I'm not gonna walk you through the steps because it tells you how to do it. But you see she has shirts right here. Um, it looks like, and you could click it and you could probably see what label they are. Or she'll probably tell you, but she's following trends right here. You see the Black Lives Matter shirt, that's a trend, um, different thing that's going on. But all of these shirts, she probably, she may or may not have inventory. You don't have to hold inventory and that's what I'm showing you. You could literally have these shirts sitting there. I just showed you how to make a mock-up and then you could create listings, product listings with the mock-up images that I just showed you. And then I see you, I hear you, Black Lives Matter shirts. And then you could just scroll, you create your listing, talk about the products, expected delivery time and everything like that. So now your store is launched, hopefully after you do all of that, you create a store with multiple products and say somebody comes in and purchases a product. Well, you don't have it, so now you need to fulfill that order. So how we're going to fulfill that order is there's two different methods. I'm gonna show you one real quick, but we're not gonna talk about it. I know if you follow me on TikTok, I mentioned this one. It's going to be this website called apliiq.com. It's a pleek. So I really like them because they allow you to do, it's the next evolution of print on demand. So they're a print on demand company. Like I said, somebody orders your product, you need to fulfill the order and print it and deliver it to them. And this company will do that for you. But the thing about them is they let you do woven labels, patches, and totally private label your product with private label tags and stuff. This can get more pricey. So I'm going to show you a cheaper alternative while you get started. But once you could afford to do this, I highly recommend doing this and then eventually grow to where you house your own inventory and brand your own products yourself. But that's on a whole different level and a whole different video. So this is one website, applique.com. 
And then the easiest website for you, you to use will be printful.com. And once you set up an account, your dashboard will look something similar to this. Um, and you'll want to click right here, this red button that says new order. Just click that button and go with basic order. You have, a, they have over 260 products to choose from. Just hit create your order. And then once you get here, oh, it'll pull up all of their products and we are doing hoodies, but as you see, men's clothing, women's clothing, kids clothing, accessories, hats, all kinds of stuff. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to look for um, a hoodie. We'll look for a hoodie just like we did in the last one. And these are best sellers probably because they're just best sellers, whatever reason it is. We're just going to click one of those for now. Um, and you can see right here, drop your design right here. So for this sake of this video, I'm going to drop this one design I have here. How it, let me change my hoodie color because my design's black. So we're going to change the hoodie color to white. And these are the different hoodie colors for this specific hoodie. Again, you could go back to the previous page if you want different colors, find a different hoodie style, and there will be different uh, colors available. So I'm going to drag and drop an image here. And there we go. And then you could just, you could literally rotate it. If you want to rotate it 25 degrees, whatever you want to do, um, size it to fit a little bit better. Um, but I think that that's perfect. I'm going to click choose thread. You can choose different thread colors here and flat embroidery back to design tools. Um, we're good with it. I need to, Poor. Okay, so the print quality is poor on this. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to let me hit continue. Let me change this real quick. Let's just do something with a better print quality. Let me see if this works. Because I want to be able to hit next for you. But I don't think the print quality is good on this either. Um, let's change our hoodie back to design tools. Okay, so we have a bigger print product. Oh, okay, that's what the problem was. Okay, I see what my problem was. Let's go back real quick. All right, um, design. We're gonna delete that. We're going to, even if it was a bad, we'll put that back in there just since we can see it better. We'll turn it, we'll come back to product. I need to pick my size. I thought I had my size picked. All right, now that my size is picked and I picked my thread color, which was under design, um, edit, and then you can pick your thread color right here because I'm doing an embroidery type. On hoodies, you embroider them in screen, screen print most of the time. So you'll want to go back to the product page, select your color. If you want to do a different color, select your size. Um, I'm going to click extra large and then you just hit continue. And then once you hit continue, it's going to show you a uh, retail price for the hoodie is $28. Here's the left chest. That's what we're putting on. That's our mock-up. If you want to do a preview, you could also screenshot this mock-up or download the mock-up i believe you can just download the mock-up and upload it to your etsy as well if you want to have uh, this image um it's going to show you file digitization is six dollars and fifty cents um so subtotal twenty eight dollars total is thirty four fifty for the hoodie and then you would want to hit continue to shipping at which point in time there will be associated shipping cost Roughly, I know it's about $4 for a shirt. I'm not sure if it's the exact same. I don't want to type in all my shipping address, but roughly 4 to $5. And so let's just go back. Obviously, so let's just say you could get this hoodie for $40, which is kind of expensive. So I would obviously look at other hoodie options. But let's say you sell the hoodie for 60 and you had to pay 40 and they actually print the hoodie on demand for you and they ship it to your customer for you. So you don't even really have to do any customer service. All you have to do is make sure that when your customer places an order, you come over here and put all your information and order the product and have it delivered to your customer. So your profit margin say is uh, $20 if you sell it for 60, which is a decent profit margin. If the product's 40, that's 50% of $40. So that's actually really good. Um, and another thing to be very clear about is the benefit of this is you don't have to have any products. Eventually, if you want to have products and you want to start printing yourself, this is what I'll, for real quick for a bonus, go to ssactivewear.com. I wasn't going to show you guys this, but I'm not going to, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not signed in. If you go over here to SNS Activewear, here you can actually order in bulk and one off like you could order wholesale hoodies in bulk instead of having to pay the 40 bucks for the hoodie you could now house inventory at your place and then for you to find somebody local to you that does embroidery or screen printing just go onto your local facebook groups 
um, or into your Facebook and just make a post. Does anybody do embroidery? You'll find somebody, they charge about $5. You will still have to pay that digitized file fee. However, you will probably only pay one time for each time you do a logo. And then your embroidery lady will always have, or guy, will always have that digitized file so they can continue to print for you. And they usually charge about maybe 20 bucks for the digitized file but they'll probably only charge you $5 for each embroidery afterwards. Let's say you get your hoodie for 10, you're in 15, and then that's how you go. But again, for the sake of this video, it's print on demand. Use Printful to do it. Start with name links to come up with a brand, Fiverr for logo design, and then Etsy to list all your products. I hope that was super helpful. If you can, please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button so I can continue to bring more videos like this. Leave a comment below if I missed anything, if you need me to address any concerns of yours, and I'll make another video. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.